Welcome everyone. Let's begin our lesson for today by going over our learning goals and success criteria. First, what are we learning? We're learning the classroom rules and procedures and how to communicate personal information to your teacher and classmates in order to create a more personal atmosphere for the class. How are we learning it? Through the MRWC syllabus, the MRWC syllabus quiz assignment, and the personality collage assignment. When can we use the information in this lesson? To ensure that you follow the rules and procedures in order to meet the expectations of the class and complete the class with a passing grade, and to relay information to your teacher and classmates so that future lessons and discussions can be more personalized and inspire conversations. How do we know we learned it? By getting a score of 4 on the MRWC syllabus quiz assignment and a 4 on the personality collage assignment. Now let's take a look at our agenda for today. We'll begin by going over our learning goals and success criteria. While we do that, you'll fill out your Get It Started. Once you've completed your Get It Started, we'll go over it together and answer any questions that you may have. Then we'll get into the MRWC syllabus. We'll read that over together. And then you'll complete the MRWC syllabus quiz. At the end of class, we'll go back over our learning goals and success criteria while you fill out your Before You Go. Your only homework for tonight is to complete the personality collage assignment and any incomplete assignments that you may have. Let's take a look at the syllabus for this MRWC class. First of all, we have our course title. This is MRWC. We are in room C14. If you need additional help, you can If you need additional help, you can request that anytime and I'd be happy to meet with you. My name is Mr. Pomfret. My email is here. It is a clickable link, so on your syllabus, if you click on that link, it'll take you directly to your email and open up with my name in there so it will send an email directly to me. Let's take a look at the important information for the class. Welcome to MRWC. Uh, this class is held in person with in-person instruction. However, everything that you will do in the class will be done online and submitted via Google Classroom. You are required to bring your Chromebook to class every day charged and ready to go and all of your assignments will be completed on your Chromebooks. Let's take a look at the course description. This class is, also, is called MRWC. It is also known as Mathematical Reasoning with Connections. It is a high school class for high school juniors and seniors. The team that developed the MRWC curriculum agreed that an expectation for mathematics should always be that it makes sense and successfully reorganize the way math is taught in order to make it more accessible and enjoyable for students. MRWC incorporates mathematical reasoning through a variety of problems. The focus of the class is for students to not only be able to complete complex mathematical problems, but to connect the patterns and the solutions to develop a deeper understanding of the underlying concept of mathematics. And that's the description. Let's take a look at parent communication. Every Friday, I will send, be sending home grade reports to your parents, letting them know how you are doing in class. If for some reason I'm out on Friday, like I have to miss class or something, I will send it out, usually still on Friday, but if not, I will send it out on Saturday. This is the way I communicate with parents, so it goes through Aries, and they will get an Aries report of your grade. If parents need to contact me otherwise, or like to know how you're doing, throughout the week, they can always email me anytime they need to. The textbook for you is available via Google Classroom. You can access that anytime you need to. However, we don't really use the textbook per se because everything is done in Google Classroom. So all of your notes, all of your example problems and your actual assignments will be available in there as well. So I've just kind of compiled those together. So you don't necessarily need the textbook, but it is available for you in Google Classroom. Grading. On the weighted scale, 30% of your grade is made up of your assignments and 70% is made up of your assessments. The grading scale. This class does not operate on the traditional 60%, 70%, 80%, 90% grading scale. We will be using a grading scale based on a rubric. So every assignment will have a rubric and it will be out of a score of four. So a four is an A, a three is a B, a two is a C, and a one is a D, a zero is an F. And that will be how you're graded for each assignment and for your overall grade. Your overall grade will be 
somewhere between these, so it might be 3.2, which would be a B. Anything above a 4 is, a, is an A. Anything above a 3 is a B. Anything above a 2 is a C. And anything above a 1 is a D. Anything below a 1 is an F. Clear, and I will be providing clear expectations on the rubrics of what you need to do to get each of those scores. Classroom rules and expectations. Students are expected to attend all sessions and participate fully. If you are unable to participate for some reason, you're, you have to miss for some reason or anything like that, you are still expected to complete the work. And I will be creating recordings of all of our lessons and putting those up for you on Google Classroom so you can watch those and complete your assignment for the day. Students are expected to adhere to the Cajon High School and San Bernardino Unified Rules of Conduct. So any rule that's a school rule or a district rule, you are expected to follow those in the classroom. You're expected to bring your Chromebook to class every day and have them charged and ready to be used for the entire period. Students are expected to complete all of their assignments on time. I will post every assignment the morning that it's due and weekly overviews of all of your assignments so you know what is coming throughout the week will be posted on Sunday at the beginning of every week. Grading will be completed every Friday and grade reports will be sent home on Fridays. Your last rule is students are expected to complete authentic work. Plagiarism is unacceptable. And because we're using a lot of technology, it's pretty easy to detect plagiary, plagiarism. So please make sure that you are not cheating. Missing assignments and late work. If you have any missing assignments, they need to be completed as soon as possible. However, if you're unable to complete them right away, they are due by Friday of the week that they were assigned. So if I assign you an assignment on Monday, it is due by that Friday. However, if you need more time than that, you can complete the assignment all the way up until the following Friday. So some assignments you may have up to two weeks to complete. On the following Friday, it becomes a zero. Once an assignment is a zero, it is no longer able to be re uh, redone. So please make sure that all of your assignments are completed on time and for sure complete them by the following Friday. If you have any assessments that you complete and you are did not do well on them or you don't like your score, you can retake those up until the end of the quarter. You can retake those up until the end of the quarter. However, you can only retake the test once. So you only get one retake. Now, additional help, if you ever need additional assistance from me, the easiest way to contact me is uh, in class. So if you just if you need help, you can just come up to me in class. If you're a little shy or you think of a question when you're at home, you could ask me during uh, from, from home. You can ask me via email or Google Classroom are usually the easiest ways to contact me. So I'm willing to meet with you before school, after school, at lunch, anytime you need to. I'll, I'll make videos for you. Whatever you need, I'll be there to help you out. You just got to let me know that you need help. And that's the syllabus. It is available below as well in Spanish. So if, uh, if that's your primary language and it's easier to read that way, it is here for you there as well. So I hope that uh, you understand the syllabus for this class. Let's take a look at now at the classroom matrix for this class. So we call it our pride matrix and pride stands for personal responsibility, respect, integrity, determination, and engagement. So let's talk about how this applies to our class. So in terms of classroom transitions, your personal responsibility is to come to class every day on time and ready to learn. Respect. I will respect the classroom and other students by coming into class quietly and preparing my learning materials, meaning I'm going to come in quietly and get my Chromebook out and get ready to work. Integrity. I will enter the classroom and begin my get it started right away. Your get it started is your warm up activity. Determination. I will enter the classroom with a positive attitude and energy with excitement to learn. 
and engagement. I will enter the classroom every day understanding that when I pass through the door, I am in a learning mindset. Now, what about for in-class work? Personal responsibility. I will participate fully in all in-class lessons and assignments. Respect. I will re be respectful of my classmates by spreading positivity and being helpful to my classmates. Integrity. I will be a self-advocate and communicate with the teacher and other classmates when I am struggling with the material. Determination. I will ask questions when I don't understand how to complete a task. And engagement. I will work hard to be an active learner at all times during class so that I can fulfill my potential as a student. Then we have teamwork. I will understand that I am responsible for my own learning first and foremost. So before you can help others, you got to be able to help yourself. Respect. I will respect others in the classroom by not being a hindrance for their learning. So do not prevent other people from learning. Integrity. I will work together with my classmates to complete tasks without copying their work or using their work as my own. Determination. I will ensure that the class is successful by assisting my classmates in their work to ensure that everyone learns. Engagement. I will engage in classroom conversations with the teacher and my classmates to create a learning-rich environment. Lastly, completion of work. Personal responsibility. I will complete my work in a timely manner and keep track of due dates, meaning turn your work in on time. Respect. I will communicate respectfully with the teacher regarding grading. So if you have questions about why your grade is the way it is or something like that, you'll be respectful when you can approach the teacher to ask about it. Integrity. I will complete authentic work and avoid cheating of any kind. Determination. I will strive to be the best that I can be in this class and never settle for anything less than my best effort. Don't be satisfied with just getting a C or a B. Keep striving to improve that one letter grade. Engagement. I will stay focused during class sessions and while doing my homework so that I can be the most successful student that I can be. So this is the classroom matrix. These are the expectations of how you will act and how you will conduct yourself in the classroom. Let's talk now about the weekly raffles. First of all, what is the weekly raffle? Students will be given the opportunity to win prizes that can be redeemed at any time throughout the semester. At the end of the semester, the prizes will expire. Entry into the raffle is based on the completion of assignments by the assigned due date. So as long as you turn in all your work on time, you will have an opportunity to get into the raffle. All students who meet the raffle criteria will be eligible to be entered into the weekly raffle where one winner will be selected each week. So how do you get into the raffle? Students will be given one virtual raffle ticket if all work for the previous week was completed by the Friday deadline. So at the end of the week, I'll grade, grade all your work. If you have any missing assignments, you will not be eligible for the raffle. If you have all of your assignments turned in, then you will be eligible for the raffle. Students who do not complete all assignments on time will be given no raffle tickets and therefore cannot win any prizes. What are the prizes that you can win? Well, you can win a drop a test pass, which allows you to drop your lowest test or quiz score. You can get a homework pass, which allows you to receive credit for an assignment without having to complete the assignment. You can win an ask the teacher pass, which allows you to ask the teacher a maximum of two questions while taking a test, and the teacher has to answer them truthfully. You can win a take a test home pass, which allows you to take your test home and do it from home instead of having to do it in class, which gives you unlimited time and no supervision. You can win a 50-50 test pass, which allows your test, instead of it being a multiple choice with four possible answers, it would only be two possible answers. So you have a 50-50 chance of getting the question right. And lastly, you can win a you pick it pass where you get to choose which pass you would like. Point system. So not everybody can win the raffle each week, but if you're entered into the raffle, everyone who gets into the raffle gets one point added toward their weekly raffle reward system by completing their work by Friday. If you do not complete your work, if you don't get entered into the raffle, you cannot receive any points. Now, once, once you receive these points, and you can get a maximum of one per week, once you have accumulated some points, you can use them to receive passes even though you did not win the raffle. So with those points, if you build up three points, you can use that to become a homework pass. If you build up five points, 
you can use that to become an Ask the Teacher Pass. If you build up eight points, you can use that to become a 50-50 test pass. If you build up 10 points, you could use that to become a Take a Test Home Pass. And if you build up 12 points, you could use that to become a Drop a Test Pass. Now, once you've used the points, so let's say I had six points and I used three of them on my homework pass, now I only have three points remaining. So I could use it to create another homework pass or I can continue to build so that I can get here. But I can't use the homework pass and then use it another one to create an Ask the Teacher pass. So you have to keep building up your points. Once you use those points, they're gone and you start over again. Now, how do you redeem your prize? You will let your teacher know on Google Classroom if you're intending to use any of your prizes. So let's say I want to use a homework pass. I'll leave a comment on Google Classroom saying that you're going to use a homework pass on today's assignment. Now, if you're using any passes that go towards tests, you need to let me know at least one day in advance so that I can uh, have everything ready for you. So if you're going to ask the teacher, I need to know that the day before so that I can be ready to answer questions for you. If you're using a 50-50 test pass, you need to let me know the day before so I have the 50-50 version ready to go for you. So you need to let me know a day in advance if you're going to use any of your passes on tests. And that is our weekly raffle system. If you have any other questions or concerns, you can always ask in class or you can email or leave a comment on Google Classroom. Let's take a look at how to complete the MRWC syllabus quiz. So if we scroll down, we have our learning goals and success criteria here. We're going to go ahead and keep scrolling, and it's going to provide you with a series of multiple choice questions that you will answer. So the first question says, what means will be you, you be using to complete all of your assignments for this class? And if you paid attention during the syllabus, you know that that's Google Classroom. So we'll click on that. And you'll continue to answer questions just like that all the way through. Make sure that you answer every question. And when you get to the bottom, you're going to go ahead and click Next. That will take you to your Before You Go. And then after you complete your Before You Go, it will provide you with your score. Once it provides you with your score, you can go back to your, your assignment and complete any questions that you may have gotten wrong.